Hello and welcome to this afternoon's webinar. This afternoon we're going to go through how to upload your data streams and where you can find this information within your Uniform program. Okay, this is really quite nice and easy. There's only a couple of things um, that you have to watch out for. So, obviously what you need to do first is, is download the data stream. Um, and we recommend probably that you put it onto a USB stick or you put it onto your desktop. So that's the first thing to get your milk, fat, protein and cell counts in, you must download the data stream. So then once you've done that, you need to go to the cow's head, you need to go to links, and then you've got this option sitting here, data stream update. Um, we have the merge bulls section here because sometimes we see error messages coming up with unknown bulls and things like that. And if you have two or three different bulls at this point, you can actually merge them. But we're looking at the moment at just how we actually import our, our recording results. So we go to next. Right. Do not go into advanced. There's absolutely no need to go to advanced. So just please ignore that. But I'm trying to run a link, but I'll get rid of that. You need to calculate the 305 and the current lactation productions, because otherwise what it does is it just reads in the, uh, the recording, the milk, fat, protein, somatic cell counts, but it doesn't update any of the 305 um, calculated predictions. So it's really important that you, you tick that option there. Then what you've got to do is you're going to go to file, and this is, this is really the place that, that things go wrong. You'll need to pick the file, and the file is called DS member, and you're going to double click on that. But if you download, if you don't delete it after you've read it in, and you then download another DS member next month, what it does is it renames it because you can't have two files of the same name. So you end up with last month's DS member and then the current month with a one on it. And I've actually seen it where we've got DS members sort of eight and nine. And if you select those, it will not read it in because it's looking for a file called DS member. So once you've read it in, just delete it off your desktop, off your USB, wherever you're going to save it then you're ready to go next month. And that, I think you agree, Emma, that's the most common problem. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, getting into the habit of deleting it when it's uploaded. Um, I think the reason people have eight or nine on is because they try and maybe upload them and think that there's something wrong with the download. So keep yeah. downloading it. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly it. So DS member, that's the file that we want. So we double click on that. So we're good to go now. We've got a tick in there to calculate the 305. We've got the correct file name, we go to next, and then finally, you're gonna to go to finish. And it will then start reading it through. Um, be aware, uh, if there's anything that it doesn't like the look of, it will actually come up and, and do a report. And I think at that point, probably the best thing you can do is, is give the help desk a call and we'll steer you in the right direction. What are the most common things that we see, see on there? Yeah, the invalid number, ear tag, um, but, yeah, it's, if you've renamed or like renumbered any animals um, or if you've sold any, then that's where they would come up here, which is fine. But if you get any red crosses, then it would be worth looking into that information and just checking what you've got down. OK, we had a lot of numbers coming up here because this is a real database, but I have anonymized it, which is why we had so many cows coming up there. That would not be normal. But you can see down there exactly what we've done. We can see that we've, we've done the data. It's all finished, so that's fine. So we just go to OK and close, and that's it. We've read it in. So um, that's been read in. Where can we go just to look over that information that was in that file? OK, if we go back to the dashboard, you'll see, first of all, on the, on the um, dashboard here for the SVP, for the milk recording, we can see that the current recording is in, 26th of November. So that's the first place you can find it. If you go to the cow's head, go to milk management, and then go to milk recording analysis. We will do a separate webinar on this, this report, but um, I think for those that don't have milk meters, this can be quite an interesting report, because you'll see here, um, we read in the milk, fat and protein, and the colors are there basically, if there's any exceptions or things that we're, we're not happy about. The fat and protein ratios, that can all be set up in properties. But you also have the SPP figure here. And this figure here, the deviation, this is showing that there's been a drop between this recording and the previous recording. And what that will show is it's not just a milk yield drop, 
if the cow's milk is not going up as quickly as we'd expect, so she's in the early part of lactation, and the two yields are pretty much the same, then again, you would get an SPP warning up. So it's quite handy just to, to click on there and just bring up the cows just to keep an eye on uh, where you think there might be an issue or that there's not an issue. So that's important. Um, and then obviously you can just double click on the cow record that will take you through and then you can compare you know, what's actually going on. So that's the first place you can see it. Then if you want to have a look at your cell counts, it's actually in health and treatments and cell count analysis. And we will be doing a, a full webinar on, on this module because it's, it's a really, really good module, especially if you look at the graph section. But just to give you a, a quick overview, and we'll save that for a webinar next week. Um, the colors are important. What it's telling me here is this cow, 2036, she's in purple, and purple is chronic. She was chronic again in July, but then you can see we cured her. So if you're not quite sure what the color means, just put the, the cursor over the top, and that will tell you. So she was then normal after that. So obviously the chronic ones we want to keep an eye on. If we want to see the cow that gives, gave the biggest contribution, if we just click on the column and click again, that's a very, very quick way of just being able to sort it. And we can see 332, she contributed 15%. And if you want to look at the, the problem cows, again, just click on it. And then we can see, unfortunately, this cow, 132, out of five occasions, she's been above. So the colors, um, the thresholds, you can change that. You can change that in general settings under health, and you can say what is an acceptable threshold for yourselves. Um, and as ever, if you have any questions on that, please give us a call. So reading in the data stream, it, it shouldn't be difficult. Uh, just make sure that it, it hasn't renumbered it because you've already got it sitting there. Just follow it through, tick the calculate 305 lactation. And if you've got a lot of data coming up, give the help disc a call and we can hopefully point you in the right direction.